Hi everyone, I'm Sohrab and in this video I will talk about our work Practical Non-Steering in Millimeter Wave Networks. I did this work with Suraj, Jesus, George and Haitha. Millimeter Wave refers to high frequency communication above 24 gigahertz where there's plenty of bandwidth. It has been the centerpiece of 5G cellular networks, many IoT applications and next generation wireless plans. It also promises to deliver high data rate applications like virtual reality and connected vehicles. Millimeter wave, however, is different from today's wireless networks in that it uses highly directional narrow beams. This means that instead of going out in all directions, the signal is focused along one direction. And we can have multiple transmitter and receivers communicate with each other at the same time without interfering. In practice, however, these beam patterns are not perfect. In fact, they look something like this, where in addition to the main direction or the main lobe, there are also side lobes in the pattern that allow the power to leak through from other directions and create interference. This interference can significantly reduce the throughput and prevent the links from operating in parallel. At the same time, we notice that the beam pattern has nulls directions where no power is received, like this one. Now, if we create a null in the direction of the interferer, we can actually suppress the interference. In this paper, we ask, can we align a null towards the interferer while preserving the main beam? It turns out that creating nulls in practice is very challenging. Challenges can be divided into two groups hardware and network level challenges. On the hardware side, we have very limited control in setting the parameters of the beam pattern. For example, the 802.1180 60GHz radios offer only two bits to control these parameters. There are also hardware imperfections and calibration errors that prevent us from creating nulls. This is especially important since nulls are extremely sensitive to even small errors. On the network side, we face several challenges. First, once an interferer shows up, we need to quickly find its direction so we can create a null in that direction. However, any small error in estimating the direction might prevent us from properly eliminating that interference. To ensure the interference is eliminated, we might need to create white nulls, like this one, to tolerate the errors in estimating the direction. Finally, in real networks, there could be multiple interferers or multipath reflections, and hence we need a method to create and align multiple nulls at the same time. Unfortunately, past work does not address the above practical hardware and network challenges and as a result, remains simulation-based. In this talk, I present Nullify, the first practical millimeter wave null steering system. Nullify addresses both hardware and network level challenges. It is implemented on commercial millimeter wave radios and can find interference directions in less than 300 nanoseconds and suppress them by 15 dBs. Nullify has two components. The first allows us to create beam patterns with nulls in any desired direction. It introduces a new nulling algorithm that can work with limited hardware control. Nullify uses this algorithm to initialize a discrete optimization framework that incorporates hardware imperfections to create white nulls and multiple nulls. The other component uses a fast null steering protocol to find the interference direction and steer the null towards it. I will first tell you about the nulling algorithm. But before I do that, let me give you some background on how beam patterns are created and controlled. When a signal is received at the receiver, it impinges on an array of antennas called a phased array, shown here as yellow squares. Then, a phase shift is introduced on each of the received signals and at the end, we get the summation of these phase-shifted signals. 
By controlling these patients, we can control the main direction or the main lobe of the beam pattern, like having it towards 75 degrees here or 130 here. We will use the same phase shifters to create and control the nulls in the beam pattern. The first step is to represent the received signals as vectors, so that we receive vectors v1, v2, all the way to vn, and the final received signal is the summation of these vectors. The vectors vi change based on the direction of the signal. For instance, for a beam pattern like this, vi's are all aligned and add up to the received vector p at the main lobe. However, at another direction where there is a null, vi's add up to the zero vector. Nullify uses a key observation for its algorithm. As we just saw, the vectors are aligned at the main lobe and cancel out at a null. The key observation is that for any angle, the vectors summing up to the signal v come in symmetric pairs around v. For example, here, the vectors vi and their summation v are shown for an arbitrary angle. We can see that v1 and v6 are symmetric around v. So are v0 and v7. There are two other pairs that come in black and yellow, as you can see here. Now, let's say that the main lobe is at 90 degrees, at which the vectors are all aligned, and we want to create a null at 5 at which the vectors look like this. Nullify's algorithm goes like this. Start with a symmetric pair, say the green one, and rotate both its vectors towards the opposite direction of V. We can do that by introducing a phase shift at the antennas corresponding to this rotation. However, this phase shift will also rotate the VIs at the direction of the main lobe. To avoid loss at the main lobe, in other words, to preserve the vector p, we restrict the maximum phase shift at each antenna to plus minus alpha to only allow for small rotations. We then choose another pair, say the blue ones, and again go ahead and rotate both its vectors as much as possible towards the direction opposite to v. We continue this process until we achieve a null v equal to zero or we run out of pairs. The nice thing about this algorithm is that it works with limited hardware controls over the phase shifts, since it can be implemented with only two phase changes, plus or minus alpha. In the paper, we prove the following theorem. Informally, this, th this theorem states that the algorithm will find the optimal solution given the restriction on the phase shifts. The results of this algorithm are used to initialize a discrete optimization framework that is inspired by genetic algorithms and incorporates hardware imperfections to enable creating nulls in practice. In the interest of time, I will not go into the details which you can find in the paper. Instead, in the remaining time, I will go over the fast null steering protocol. The protocol is based on the following insight. An interference is likely to come from a side lobe, and hence there is no need to scan all directions looking for the interference. We simply need to check for the side lobes. Let me show you how it works through an example. This figure shows the beam pattern versus the direction of the signal. Let us say our transmitter is along 90 degrees and hence our main beam is towards 90 degrees. If there is interference, then the interference is likely to have come from one of these side lobes shown in red here. Let us say that the interference is at 75 degrees. Nullify's protocol starts by nulling the side lobes and estimates the interference and signal power. Instead of scanning all directions one by one to find the interference, Nullify only nulls these seven side lobes. So we create a null at the first side and we measure the received power. We then create a null at the second side lobe and at the third side lobe until the interference disappears. Now, even if we continue from this point, we can confirm that the interference is coming from the third direction. Hence, 
Nullify is able to find the direction of the interference by only taking a few constant number of measurements. We implemented Nullify on the MMFlex platform, which uses 60 GHz 16 element antennas sending 802.11 AD compliant packets. We tested our system in different rooms and settings. Let me start by showing you some qualitative results of the beam patterns and nulls that Nullify can create on real hardware. In the first result, you can see a narrow null along 60 degrees while the main lobe is preserved at 35 degrees. Next, we see how Nullify is also able to create white nulls as well as up to five nulls in the case of multiple interferers. Next, we show how Nullify can eliminate interference. We use the signal to interference plus noise ratio, or SINR, as our metric, which we measure with and without Nullify. The figure shows a CDF of the SINR of close to 700 experiments. In these experiments, we started with a link where the SINR was kept around 20 dBs. Then, we introduced interference at different locations in the room, which reduced the SINR by different amounts. We then let Nullify find and null the interference, and we measure the new SINR. As we can see, Nullify improves the median SINR by more than 15 dBs, and brings the SINR close to its original value. To see the significance of suppressing interference using Nullify, we implemented it on a test bit with concurrent links and compared it with recent work BounceNet that enables multiple concurrent links. We measured the overall network throughput against a number of links. Throughput using BounceNet is shown in brown, while using Nullify gives us the blue curve. Since Nullify can suppress interference between links, it can improve network throughput by up to 2.6 times in dense networks. In this talk, I presented Nullify, the first system for practical null steering in millimeter wave networks. It improves the network throughput by suppressing interferences between links. Millimeter Wave offers a new way of interference management through beam shaping that current wireless systems do not. We can now rethink how we design our protocols using nulling for interference management as another primitive in our toolbox. Finally, we have open sourced our algorithms on our GitLab page. Feel free to check them out and thank you for listening.